Hey, I'm Quinn, your favorite plumber, and I really appreciate all the compliments on the new mustache. Hey, I'm Quinn, your favorite plumber, here to talk about how to fix a dripping hose bib. Today, we're gonna look at the Woodford Model 19, but a lot of these same steps can be applied on repairing a frost-free hose bib. First, let's take a look at how these work. Um, this is a frost-free hydrant, and if you live in a warm environment, you're gonna wanna look at different videos on how to repair those. Today, we're looking at the frost-free. This is a Woodford Model 19. The actual valve and seat is here on the end, and so when you shut this off, the valve shuts the water off here. The vacuum breaker allows it to drain, so this does not freeze. These are installed at a slight angle down, so when you shut it off, the water can drain out and prevent your, uh, your hose bibs from freezing in the winter. These hose bibs can leak from a few different areas. It can leak from the nozzle, the vacuum breaker, or the valve stem, and we'll take a look at how to repair all three. For this video, you'll need channel locks, flat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and optional small flat screwdriver. You'll also need your model-specific hose bib repair kit from your local home improvement store. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is how to fix it if it's dripping from the nozzle. The first step is to shut off your water. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the handle. Um, this model takes a flat screwdriver, so you unscrew going counter, counterclockwise. Okay, so remove the handle. Next, you'll take a pair of pliers and remove the packing nut. Um, next, we're gonna remove this packing nut and washer, so put the handle back on and unscrew the valve here so it helps pop it out. So then you can see the rod assembly is gonna pull out here. Remove the packing rubber and washer. Remove the valve stem. There will be some resistance here because of this rubber uh, check valve. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the retainer screw. This is a Phillips. And often on um, older hose bibs, you gotta really, you know, be careful to remove this correctly because it's gonna have years of water and kind of be bound up. So make sure you get the right size screwdriver so you don't strip the screw because um, these can strip and then you're gonna have to replace the whole thing. So remove the retainer screw. Remove the valve seat rubber kind of pop it out with a little screwdriver. And then remove the check valve rubber. And this one can be um, pretty tough, especially so. So I like to kind of pop it from there and then pull down and then see how it exposes the gap and then kind of work it out like that. That one will fight you, keep with it. Then take your repair kit that you purchased at Home Improvement Store, um, matching the model of the hose bib you have. In this case, it's a wood for 19. Reinstall the rubber check valve. Add the valve seat back to the end. And remember the flat side actually goes against this base here. So try to remember when you take it off what way it is facing. Retighten the screw. Insert the rod assembly back into the hose bit. Slide it all the way back. Take your handle and start tightening it like you're shutting off the hose bib to re-engage the valve back there. Insert back your packing washer with the flat side facing you. Reinstall the black rubber packing. Thread the packing nut back on Obviously threads going in and lightly tighten with a wrench. Reinstall the handle and secure it by tightening the screw. Turn your water back on and uh, test the hose bib. Turn it on and off a few times to make sure it's not leaking. I also recommend attaching a hose with a sprayer on the end and pressurizing it so it's all under pressure. Make sure you stop that leak. Next, let's take a look at how to replace the vacuum breaker. If it's leaking from the top, this is how you do it. Some models, um, older models, this will unthread. In the Woodford 19, you actually gotta pop it off. So the first thing we wanna do is remove the plastic cover. 
it is not threaded on there, so you wanna kinda of pry it off. Unscrew the plastic body. Be careful with this, obviously it's plastic. Remove the old float and install a new float from your repair kit. Sometimes it's easier to put the plastic float in the body first before you screw it back in. And remember the gasket faces up, not down. Screw back in the plastic body with the new float in there. Tighten, but not too tight, it is plastic, so don't over tighten it. Pop back on the cover and then test to make sure there's no leak. Lastly, if it's leaking from this valve stem, let's take a look at how to repair that. So the first thing I'd like to try before we do anything is to take it and tighten this packing nut. Sometimes if you tighten that down, you can fix the leak right there. If it's still leaking, let's pull it apart, take a look at how to replace that packing washer. Remove the handle. Remove the packing nut counterclockwise. Some of these older models actually have reverse threads. These Woodfords have standard. Put the handle back on, loosen the valve stem. That helps this uh, packing washer pop out. And if it's leaking from the handle, it's leaking from this packing nut and washer right here. So remove the black rubber packing. Grab your new washer from the repair kit. Slide that on. Push it down, put the handle back on, engage the valve. You can actually engage this valve first if you want. I'm gonna push that packing washer back on. Reinstall the packing nut. Lightly tighten with a wrench. Reinstall the handle. Tighten your screw back on and test for leaks. If your hose bib's still leaking and you've checked and reviewed all the steps and made sure everything you did everything correctly, there might still be a problem with the seat. Check out our other video on how to create a custom tool for under $10 to repair the seat and hopefully stop that leak. We've showed you how to repair the hose bib using the repair kit from the store. Another thing that you can try too, if you don't wanna mess with uh, the repair kit is you can buy an identical hose bib model and then just pull out the assembly rod. <sighs> no. <laughs> Another thing you can do if, is if you were in a hurry and wanna spend a little bit more money is you can simply replace, buy a new hose bib pull out the valve stem with all the parts on it and uh, make sure you get identical models and then you can just slide it in and do the repair that uh, way as well if you're struggling with the specific gaskets or having any issues there. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below, ask a question, we'll try to respond to them. And as always, like it, subscribe, and you know, thanks for all the comments on the mustache. I know you guys love it.